says, I, I love. I think she says, I love to praise. And then this, his what? Holy. You think of the angels at the throne saying, holy, holy, holy. And without hesitation, you know, when you love to do something, you do it a whole lot better. Some people love to cook, and the food tastes so good because they love doing it. Amen. And sister said, I love to praise his holy name. Why? He's my rock, my sword, and my shield. He's my protector. He's my provider. Why can't you praise him? Amen. If you didn't have it, amen, you'd be seeking somebody to get it, and here he gives it to you freely. Church, love to praise him. He's worthy of all the praise. Let us bow our head in a word of prayer. Most gracious and heavenly Father, as we come with a heart full of praise and thanks, thanks for your many wonderful blessings. Thank you, Father, for the power over sin, flesh, and the devil. Thank you for your word which we hid in our hearts that we might not sin against thee. We thank you for your many wonderful blessings, great and small, and for the power of God which is unto salvation to all that believe. We thank you for your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, who you sent into the world that men, women, boys, and girls might be freed from sin. We thank you for the blood that he shed on Calvary that will cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Father, we pray, dear Lord, that you will be with us as we move into this portion of the service, that you will feed us with the wisdom, the knowledge, and the understanding, that we might be properly prepared for the coming of the Lord one day. In the name of Jesus Christ, we do pray, and for his sake, we thank thee. Remember those in the hospitals, convalescent homes, jailhouses, wherever. Remember Von Zola Johnson, dear Lord, who was struck by an automobile as she crossed the walk. Father, we pray, dear Lord, thank you for sparing her life. And bless her, dear Lord, and strengthen her, and bring her back to as she testified of a miracle, that she's not dead. So Father, we thank you for an, your angel to encamp around to allow no more to come upon her than what we all could bear. So we thank you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we do pray and for his sake. Together can we all say, amen. 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 Give an honor to God and our Lord Savior Jesus Christ, the ministers of the gospel, the deacons that are assembled to the congregation, we say good afternoon and may God bless you. <clears throat> For truly God is good, and his mercy endure to all generation. There's no generation gap where God is concerned. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness. And all the things that he has done, the things that he has uh, doing and the things that he have plans to do. God is a good God. Thank God for the scroll which reads obedience, love, reverence, and respect first to God, then to leadership, and then to one another. Thank God for the sparks from the anvil on page three of your programs today. The first one says, when your garment is spotted, you can't walk in the light. Amen. If your garment is spotted, you can't walk in the light. Why? Because the spot will be seen. Amen. 
For people's lives that are spotted, they won't come to the light because their deeds will be made manifest. Amen. Second one says, if you want God to abide with you, walk so as not to offend him. Amen. Sin is an offense unto God. So if you want God to walk with you or to abide with you, then make sure that your walk, your talk, your existence does not offend him in any way, shape, or form. Amen? Third says you can't walk in holiness and pattern after the world. The Lord says, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. For if any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Amen. So you can't walk in holiness and pattern after the things of the world. Because the worldly things, the worldly pleasures, the worldly activities are against the pathway of righteousness. Amen. And so... You can't walk in holiness and be different than holy. Amen. To walk in this path, you have to be according to the path. Anything else just don't fit. And on the back of your program, it said, Is it important for all who say that they love God to first hear God and then obey his teachings, fashioning themselves not after the likeness of this world, but after the likeness that is pleasing to him, because it is written, Be ye holy, for I, the Lord, am holy. Amen. Amen. Holy people, holy congregation, holy heaven. Amen. There is another place that is for unholiness, and that is hell. Amen. And if you expect to make it to the kingdom of heaven, then you've got to deny yourself, take up your cross, and then follow every day. Not on a part-time basis, amen. Not one hour, two hours a day. That's not going to cut it with God. Because it's one thing about God, he wants all of you. He doesn't want a part of you, he wants all of you. And God does not believe in sharing you with the devil. See, there's two controlling spirits. You're either controlled by God or you're controlled by the devil, one or the other. And you cannot have both. There's no communion with light and darkness. Where do you find darkness? Anywhere that the light doth not shine. Darkness is sin. Righteousness is light. And you want to walk in the light as he is in the light, then you'll have fellowship one with the other. So you can't walk in darkness and claim to be a child of God. Amen. And on the front of your program, it says, with the willingness of mind to obey God. This is what is important, church. You got to have a willing mind to obey God. You see, because there's an adversary out there. And his aim and object is 24 hours a day, and as much as needed, to hinder you, to be a thorn in your side, to be an adversary to you. And you're trying to make it, and he's trying to keep you from making it. But you have to be just as determined as he is to stop you that he's not going to allow you're not going to allow him to stop you. And with a made-up mind, church, you can make it. Amen. Because God will supply you with the power. All you got to do is have a made-up mind. People talk about they can't, I'm tired of this, and I can't go through this, and I can't do it. The Lord said, be not weary in well-doing. Amen. For ye shall reap if you what? Faint not. So brother said he hadn't had cook or dinner in 30-some years. That's because his wife loves to cook. Amen. And don't mind cooking. Amen. And don't mind cooking. You see, if you have a problem with cooking, you'll fail to cook. Amen. <clears throat> well, it's in icebox. Go get it and you heat it up. Get leftovers. 
Amen. He said he can tell you what dead is by what she's cooking. Amen. Pork chops. Hey, remind me, what time on Thursdays? <clears throat> Amen. What time on Thursdays? Amen. Is that 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock? What time on Thursdays? 5 o'clock, whatever time you get home, right? Amen. It's a blessing. So let us continue, church, to hold on, hold out, look up, but don't give up. Let us remember that we are on the battlefield. There is a devil out there who's determined to stop you. But if you've got a made-up mind, amen, you can make it. Amen. We want to encourage you today. We want to talk to you today about the last days. Amen. We're living. Believe it or not, we're living in the last day. <clears throat> Amen. We want to speak to you today about the last day. Amen. Paul said, perilous times. Amen. So dig in, if you will, congregation. Turn with me to the book of Timothy. First Timothy. <clears throat> I think we want the fourth chapter, First Timothy. We're living in the last days, church. And our thought for the day is the last day. Amen. The last days. Beginning right at the very first verse, listen to what he said in First Timothy, the Fourth chapter, he says, now the spirit, and how is that spirit spelled? Capital S. Capital, meaning it is God's Holy Spirit mm -hmm. that is speaking. The spirit speaketh how? Expressly. Expressly that what? That in the latter times. That in the latter times, what? Some shall depart from the faith. Amen. Mm -hmm. Some shall depart from the faith. The faith. You often mm -hmm. see my little notes that I send out weekly, praying that your what? Faith fail not. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praying that your faith fail not. People start off, and somewhere along the line, they begin to falter. Mm -hmm. Amen. As Diggin Paul says, why are you here? Yeah, good Amen. Why are you here? And people, every one of you that have joined the church, we ask the question, are you willing to accept this book as your guide? Dotting every I, crossing every T, line upon line, precept upon precept. Are you willing? Do you believe that God is able to keep you living a life? And your testimony is at that time, I do. I will. Amen. Now the question is, why falter? But he says in the latter times, some shall depart from the faith, doing what? Giving heed to seducing spirits. Giving heed to seducing spirits and what? And doctrines of devils. Amen. Doctrines of devils. You see, when you start associating with something that is less than holiness, it tends to weaken you to the degree that you no longer are faithful. Isn't that interesting? You are no longer faithful. It's just like the individual <clears throat> preacher one day was telling how that he and another guy on the job was complaining about the job, and guy, the guy said, let's quit. He said, yeah, let's quit. He said, I quit, and the other man kept, work on, kept on working. So he set him up. When you start eating idleness and negative attitude, you become discontent. Amen. The same thing as he says, giving heed to what? Seducing spirit. You have to watch who you associate with. He that walketh with wise men, what? Shall be wise, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. Amen. Listen, turn with me to the book of St. Luke. The 23rd. 
chapter. Beginning at the 31st verse. Listen to this, church. <clears throat> 22, 31. Listen to this. Amen. And the Lord said to Simon. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, what? Behold. Satan. Has desired to have you. That what? That he may sift you as wheat. Church, if you are here. There is an adversary who desires to have you that he may sift you as wheat. Amen? Amen. He wants to separate you from the love of God. Amen? Now listen, Simon, you know, it's interesting because Simon was brought to the forefront here. And a lot of times, people hanging around in the crowd don't like to be called out. But Jesus made mention to Simon. He said, Simon, Simon, Satan desired to have not somebody else, but you. He pointed him out. Read. That he may sift you, that as, he wheat. May sift you as wheat, but what? But I have, but prayed, I have for prayed for you that what? Thy faith fail not. That your faith fail not. Because Peter, you are not all that you ought to be. Mm -hmm. As a digging ask the question, why are you here? And you notice he keep asking that question, why are you here? Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. And people said, I'm here for salvation. <laughs> but the question is still asked, why are you here? Amen. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Because somebody is not here for salvation. There is an alternative motive for them being here. He said, but I prayed for you, Peter, that what? And when thou art converted. And when thou art converted, not before, but when thou art converted, do what? Strengthen thy brother. Amen. You then ought to strengthen your brother. But see, you can't strengthen nobody. If I'm in the quicksand and you in the quicksand, we both are in the quicksand sinking, what kind of help can I be to you or you be to me? Yeah. Somebody has got to be on solid ground in order to pull up the one that is sinking. Yeah. Yeah. Song said, on Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking. Yeah. Amen. Somebody's got to be on solid ground. Peter, amen. You're not, you don't have it just yet, Peter. See, but when you are converted, I want you to strengthen your brother. So Peter got a little annoyed with this. You turn over this 26th chapter of St. Matthew. Let me show you how Peter got a little annoyed with Jesus when he asked him this question. <clears throat> 26, 31. Then said Jesus unto them, what? <clears throat> All ye, not some. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he called them all out there. Mm -hmm. He says, all ye shall what? Be offended. Be offended what? Because of me this night. This night. Mm -hmm. Not tomorrow, not later on, but this night. There's going to come a time in your life, church, when you're going to have to stand up and acknowledge that Jesus is Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. In your walk, in your talk, in your existence, somewhere along the line. Somebody going to call you out. Amen. Somebody's going to call you out. Like the brother said, he was out playing basketball, and somebody did a little something to him that he ought not to do, and it angered him. See, Satan will call you out. Amen. Amen. You can't throw an elbow back, Brother Jeffrey, if the man elbow you. That's all right. Amen. <clears throat> you can't go there and run down the floor the next time he do it and then throw the elbow back at him. No, you can't do that. See, Satan will call you out. Listen, read. For it is written. For it is written what? I will smite the shepherd. I'm going to smite the shepherd and the sheep shall, or the flock shall be scattered where? Abroad. Oh, but after I am risen again, I will go before you into Galilee. Now listen to what Peter said. Read. Peter answered and said unto him. Peter answered unto him, though all men shall be offended because of thee, yet will I never be offended. Mm. Why are you here? I'm here for salvation. Really? 
Amen. Mm -hmm. Read. Jesus said unto him. Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto what? Thee, Peter. Amen. I'm talking to you specifically, Peter. Mm -hmm. That what? That this night. That this night, not tomorrow, but in this particular night. What? Before the cock crow. Before the cock will even crow in the morning time, what's going to happen? Thou shalt deny me thrice. You're going to deny me three times. Yep. Yep. One, two, three. He said, remember, Peter, I prayed for you. Amen. And I pray for all of you that your faith don't fail. Amen. Because if you're here, Satan desire to have you. His aim and object is to mess you up. Period. He wants to take you out. And you know what? He can take you out by just being disobedient to your parent. Amen? Disobedient to your husband. Disobedient to God. These little ditty foxes that seems insignificant are the ones that can carry you out of here. It's just like the individuals that were given the commandment that we are selling everything that we have and we're bringing it in that we may make a distribution that everybody will be on the same level. And here these two individuals conspire together that they're going to hold back part. And Peter asks Ananias, says, did you not sell the land for so and so? Yes. Well, why is it that Satan, you have allowed Satan to fill your heart to lie against the Holy Ghost? And when he said that, he dropped down dead. Don't play with God, church. Then his wife, she came in afterwards, not knowing what had happened. And he asked her, said, did you not, Sophia, did you not sell the land for X number of dollars? Then why has Satan filled your heart to conspire against the whole? You haven't lied to men, you've lied to God. Because it's the Holy Ghost that is doing the speaking. The Spirit speaketh how expressly that in a lot of times some shall depart from the faith. And Peter, you're going to deny me before the cock crow this night. You're going to deny me. Read. Peter said unto him. Peter said unto him. Listen to what he said. Now what? Though I should die with thee. Though I should die with thee, yet will I not deny thee. And likewise also said Oh, All of them said the self same thing. Mm -hmm. Go back to St. Luke. Really? I'm here for salvation. Really? Amen. Watch this. <clears throat> 54 verse. 22, 54. Then they did what? This was after they came out. Judas kissed him. You know, then Keith and I was talking about that kiss of Judas. That kiss of betrayal. People come, but they're not totally with it. Amen? They're here, but they're not totally here. Mm -hmm. Why are you here? Amen? And listen to this. Read. Then took they him. Then they took him, him and led him and brought him into the high priest's house. And Peter did what? Followed afar off. See that? Already. He said, I'm willing to die with you. But what did he do? Far off. And Jesus way up there, and he way back here. But what? And when they had kindled the fire. And when they had done what? Kindled. Kindled the fire. What happened? In the midst of the hall. In the midst of the hall, what? And we're set down And together. set down together, Peter did what? Set down among them. But what? But a certain maid behold, beheld him. Beheld him as he sat by the fire and earnestly looked on him. She checked him out. Mm -hmm. Are you following me, sister? Are you following me, sister? No, you're not. Follow me. She checking him out. Amen. Ain't you gone that Kirby? No. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Wasn't you with Jesus? No. Now you think about this, Sister Marsha. Here a young lady walks up to your husband. They said, aren't you married? He said, no, I ain't married. And you here. Yeah. 
that's going to cut you. All them 20, 30, 33 years you done cooked for him, and he going to say that he ain't mine? Mm -hmm. You tell me that ain't going to cut you? And then not, not only one time, read it again, bro. But a certain maid beheld, but a certain maid mm -hmm. beheld him as he sat by the fire and earnestly looked upon him and said, this man was also with him. Mm -hmm. And what did Peter do? And he denied him saying, woman, I know not him. So I, don't, I don't know what you're talking about. I ain't mad. Hey, he done stood up in the church. He done just got finished testifying how that he ain't had to fix dinner in 33 years. My wife. And then you hear him tell somebody that, I ain't mad. Tell me that won't cut. Wait a minute, I done fixed this man all this food for 30 some years, and he gonna tell that woman that he ain't mad? We'll see if he eat tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Amen. Read, brother. And after a little while. And after a little while, what happened? Another saw him. Another saw him and said, Thou art also of them. And Peter said, What? Man, I Man, am not. I am not. Read. And about the space of And about one the hour. space of one hour after another confirm, confidently affirmed, saying, of a truth, this fellow also was with him for what? For well, he is a Galilean. You stood up and you testified in front of all of us that you were married and didn't cook dinner for 30 some years. Yes. And then you gonna stand around and tell everybody you ain't married. Hmm. What did Peter do? And Peter said, And Peter said, Man, I know not. I know said. not what thou sayest. And immediately, remember now, this was three times. Mm -hmm. And what happened? While he yet spake. While he yet spake, what happened? The cock crew. Amen. Mm -hmm. Six is first verse says, And the Lord turned, because see, Jesus heard the cock. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jesus heard the cock crow. Mm -hmm. And he turned and did what? And looked upon Peter. And looked upon Peter and what? And Peter remembered the word. And Peter remembered the word of the Lord, how he said unto him, Before the cock crow, thou shalt do what? Deny me thrice. Amen. And what happened? And Peter went out and wept bitterly. You don't need a weapon, brother. You done said that you ain't married, so you ain't gonna get no dinner tonight. <laughs> Woo. Hallelujah. So Satan desire to have you, church. That he may what? Sift you. But I prayed for you, Peter, that your faith fail not. Amen. Back over to Timothy. The Spirit speaketh it specially. Mm -hmm. In the latter times, some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing what? Spirits. Spirits and doctrines of devils. Doing what? Speaking lies and hypocrisy. Speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a what? Hot iron. Amen. Mm -hmm. We talked about that conscience. Elder spoke about that conscience. You see, every one of us have a law within us. And that law is telling you what you ought to do and what you ought not to do. But what happens is you override your conscience and you keep on overriding it. Pretty soon, these things become numb. Your conscience no longer has an impact. And when that happens, you're in trouble. Having a conscience sealed with a hot iron and what? Forbidding to marry. Don't want to marry. Because, see, that's what God commanded you to do. Yeah. And you're married and don't want to be married. Mm. That's sad. I'm going to trade him in and get me another hug. How you going to do that? When you've made the vow, tell death how long? 
Do you part? Tell what? Death. Mm -hmm. Do you part? Mm -hmm. So how you gonna trade him in? Ah, read. And commanding to abstain. And from commanding meat. to abstain from meats which God hath created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe in what? Know the truth. Amen. I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> I don't eat no meat. Why you don't eat no meat? I can't stand to see nobody kill something. Go ahead, make it fun. Here's the question. You like tomatoes? Oh, I love tomatoes. You do? Have you ever noticed the juice when you cut it? That's the blood of the tomato. You see, there's life in the blood. As long as you have blood in your veins and it's pumping through, your body can move. But when you take that blood out, yes, you dry up. The same thing with that tomato. That's the blood. When you cut it, you see that juice flowing out? That's the life of that tomato. Yes, so you don't like killing things? You just killed that tomato. Right. Boom. That's right. So you're talking about being a vegetarian because you don't like to kill things? Amen. How you think that tomato got the way it got? <clears throat> Somebody had to separate it from its vine, its source of living. That's right. Commanding to abstain from meats which who? Which God. Which God have created to be re what? Received. Received with what? Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving of them that which believe and know the truth. For every creature of God is what? Good. No, it didn't say good, did it? For every creature of every God. Every creature of God is good and what? And nothing. Nothing is to be received, re refused, excuse me, read. Mm -hmm. If it be received. If it be received with what? Thanksgiving. Amen. You sit down to the table, thank God first. That's right, thank God. <laughs> Don't sit down to the table and start throwing down. You sit down, you thank God. Yeah, Lord, I thank you for the food that we're about to receive for the nursing and the feeding of the body for Christ's sake. Yeah. If you be willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land, but if you refuse and rebel, you shall be devoured by the sword, for the mouth of the Lord hath what? Spoken. Yeah. It is sanctified by the word of God and prayer. Mm -hmm. Listen, read. For it is sanctified. For it is what? Sanctified. Sanctified by the word of God and prayer. And if thou put the brethren in remembrance of these things, thou shall be what? A good minister. A good minister of who? Jesus Christ. Read. Nursed up, nursed up what? Words of faith. Words of faith. And of good doctrine. And of good doctrine where unto Thou hast what? Attained. Second Timothy. Mm -hmm. Third chapter. Amen. Listen to this. Talking about the last days, church. Mm -hmm. We're living in the last days. You can see it. Watch this now. Read. This know also. This know what? Also. Mm -hmm. This know what? Also. Mm -hmm. Now we're, we went to First Timothy, the fourth chapter. Now we're coming over to Second Timothy, the third. And he's saying this know also that what? That in the last days. That in the last days, perilous times, what? Shall come. Mm -hmm. We're living in it, church. Yeah. We're living in it. Mm -hmm. Perilous. It's dangerous out there today. It's dangerous. People shooting. Bam, bam, bam. Shoot you. You know, back in the day, they, they would hold the gun up straight, you know, and shoot it. But now they turn it on the side, gangster style. Amen. Perilous times shall come, read. For men shall be lovers men of their own Men shall be lovers of their own selves. Think nothing less. Your life is worth a penny today. Yes. If they want you, they're going to take you. They want you out of here, they'll take you out and care nothing about you. Men shall be lovers of their own selves. What? Covenants. Covets. Mm -hmm. What? Boasters. Boasters, read. Proud. Proud, read. Blasphemers. Amen. You got to be careful with that one, church. Oh, yeah. 
as all, all of them, but this one here, because see what happens is blasphemer meaning speaking against. Mm -hmm. And you find yourself speaking against the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. And that one there, you cannot be forgiven. Mm -hmm. Listen, read. Disobedient. Disobedient to whom? Parents. Amen. If you have been raised up amongst holy parents and they give you rules and regulations, it is till you die. You're supposed to obey. You're never exempt from the law of your mother or your father. That's right. True. Let's take it over there in Jeremiah. By the Jeb, Jeb you what? What were they called? Jeb you what? Rechabites. How he told them what they were not to do and what they were to do. And then God said, go down there and get them. Yeah. Go down there and get them and bring them up here. See, because God wanted to show them how that if man can give you a law and you can obey man's law, why is it that you cannot obey my law? That's right. Mm -hmm. And I'm greater than man. He set them up there, and they came up. He said, now, put some wine before them. No, they ain't going to drink. Our father told us don't drink no wine. Right, but right. we want you to dwell in it. No, our father told us not to do thus and thus so. Mm -hmm. There's a people up there in Child City, farmers. Their grandfather introduced them to the freight liner truck. And they still won't buy anything else today but a freight liner. Because that's what their grandfather introduced them to. Yeah. Now, if you have been introduced to righteousness, why after you get a little hair on your chest, you're going to change your doctrine? Mm -hmm. yes. Some shall depart from the faith, mm -hmm. giving heed to seducing spirits and what? Doctrines of devils. Listen, blasphemers, disobedient to parent, and then what? Unthankful. Unthankful. I hope that when you have sat down, brother, and ate that oh, meal yeah. that she cooked for you, oh, okay. that you didn't get up and burp and walk away, oh, but no. you said, honey, I thank you. Amen. That's what I did. <laughs> Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Amen. Children get up from the table and won't even say thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not, no, no. I, I raised mine. Do not get up from this table Amen. without thanking your mother mm -hmm. for fixing, taking the time out. That sister could work all day, come home, and 45 minutes have a three-course meal on the table. Mm -hmm. In 45 minutes. And Amen. she did it for 33 years. Mm -hmm. 33 years she worked. And every day, because I told her, I said, listen, you start working now, okay? All right, I'm going to tell you something. That's your part time. Home is your full time. And when you get so that you can't take care of home, mm -hmm. you coming off that job. Because yeah. that's your part time. Because mm -hmm. the Lord told you to raise the children. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's, that's, that's you. Yes. You're supposed to guide the house, raise the children. Amen. Amen. He didn't tell the man to raise the children. He told you to provide for the family as a man. Yes. But the wife... The mother, you're supposed to raise them. You're supposed yeah. to train them up. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to teach them. You're supposed to nourish them. You're supposed to care for them. You're supposed yeah. to make sure that everything moves smooth in the household. Keep it clean. <laughs> Amen. Keep it clean. Clean up around. Do this yeah. and do that. You're supposed yeah. to do these things. Yeah. Woo. Mm -hmm. How are we doing, church? Yes. See, man can't produce no milk. He can't nurse a child. God gave that to him. That's one thing a man can't do. He, he, oh, he can take a bottle and feed, but you can't nurse it. Amen. Amen. You can't do that, brother. Oh, no. Mm. Yeah. You ain't got no milk. Mm. All you got is mustard. That's right. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Woo. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now watch this now. Third verse says what? Unthankful and unholy. Unthankful and then unholy. Was it was on the first? See, if you notice something, I want you to know, turn, turn to your program. I'm going to show you something. 
See, I try to do a continuation. Mm -hmm. May God bless you, watch this now, with the willingness of mind to do what? Obey. Obey God. Uh, yeah. Where? The church of God in Wednesday. Isn't that something? Yeah. Unholy. See, God is holy. Yes. And on the back it says, Be ye holy, for I, the Lord, am what? Holy. Mm -hmm. Read. Without natural affection. Without natural affection. Church, it is not natural for a woman to have the same desires for another woman as she ought to have for a man. That's true. It is not natural for a man to have the same desires for another man that he ought to have for a woman. It is unnatural. And the Lord says, without what? Natural affection. Yes. Tell it. Without natural affection. Watch this now. Amen. Truth breakers. Yes. And then there are false accusers. Mm -hmm. Then there are some that is incontent. Yes. Amen. No self-control. Oh. Just as loose as a goose. Yes. Anything fly out their mouth. Yes. Amen. Read. Fierce. Fierce. People just angry. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Read. Despises of, Despises of those that are good. You try to do everything you're supposed to do on your job, and, and they're despising you. Mm -hmm. And for what reason? They hung Jesus on the cross, didn't they? Yeah. And all he did was heal the sick, mm -hmm. cause the lame to walk, the blind to see, right. the deaf to hear, and he preached the gospel unto them. And when he died, he opened up the way. Yeah. Father, forgive them not. That's right. Forgive them, forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. Amen. Truth. What love? And here you still holding a grudge. Mm -hmm. Amen. Wow, you yeah. Whew. How we doing, church? Read on, brother. Traitors. What? Traitors. Hmm. Traitors. Mm -hmm. Heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. Let's go to church. I ain't going to church. Let's go party. Okay, what time? <laughs> yeah, make it hey Amen. What time? Will I, uh, we going to church? No, I won't go to church. Mm -hmm. When we talk about party, oh, they're ready. Yeah. Or game night. Oh, yeah. Stay all night long. You have to chase them home on game night. Mm -hmm. But come time for church, what time he going to finish? Hurry up and finish because I got something I want to do. Yeah. Having a form of godliness. And then they're having a form, a form, a form. They look like you, yes. but they can't, they can't act like you. Mm -hmm. They can't walk like you, but they look like you. Yes. Having a form of godliness and what? But denying the power. But denying the power thereof, do what? From such turn God away. God says some with that attitude of that nature, turn away. I was thinking of how that Timothy taught, I mean, Titus taught that the aged women be sober, grave, that they may teach the young women to do what? Love their husbands. And if you're an aged woman and you're talking down to your, or about your husband to a, a younger woman, you are planting the seed of blasphemy. Oh, yeah. Amen. When you disobey your husband, you blaspheme. Woo. I got a minute. Turn over to Titus. Mm -hmm. Second chapter, I think it is. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> First verse. Talking about the last days, and these things, these things will be happening, seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Titus, the second chapter, the first verse said, but speak thou the things which become what? Sound doctrine. It's not sound doctrine if you're going to be down in your husband in front of a young woman that just got married. Mm -hmm. 
age, women are supposed to speak sound doctrine. Read. That the aged men be sober. That the aged men be sober, temperate, sound in faith, in charity, in patience. Read. The aged women likewise. The aged women likewise, that they be in behavior as becometh what? Holiness. Holiness. Mm -hmm. Read. Not false accusers. Not false accusers, not given to much wine, teachers of good things. Mm -hmm. Yes. Amen. 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 Teachers of what? Good, good things. things. See, because somebody's always watching you. Yes. Always. always. Mm -hmm. Watch this now. Read. That they may teach the young women. That they may teach who? The young women. The young women to be what? Sober. Sober. Read. To love their husbands. To do what? To love their You can't husbands. teach a young woman to love her husband by downing yours. Amen. Listen. Can't do it. Mm -hmm. You teach them by what? Example. Example. Yes. People come to tell you, why are you doing that for that man? Why are you doing this? Because he's my husband. That's why I'm doing it. Mm -hmm. I'm doing it because he's my husband and I love him. Yes. See, you got to watch out. These other women come to you talking about your husband ain't this and that and the other thing. They mm -hmm. want you to throw your husband away so they can get him. Mm -hmm. You heard the, about the preacher? The preacher said it. The man told him, said, let's quit. He said, I can, okay, let's quit. I ain't happy with this job either. He said, I quit. The man kept working. The man, you got to watch out for these women talking about, hey, man, you ought not to do this for your husband. You ought not to do that. You ought to do that. She might have eyes on your husband. Mm. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Don't get quiet in here. <laughs> if you got one, you better thank God. <laughs> I know my wife was a little upset with me one time. She went to her mother and was telling me, Mom said, is he running with me? She said, no. She said, well, then thank God. <laughs> Way back in the day, you know, everybody having these rough periods at the beginning of times, you know, between them seven, one through seven. After you get over seven, you ought to be happy. Yeah, that's right. Amen. You ought to be happy. If you ain't happy, you need to get Jesus. Then you can be happy. Yeah. If you're happy. And you know it. Then do what? Say amen. Amen. <laughs> yeah. amen. How we doing, church? Trust me, Lord. Read a little further, brother. That they may teach to what? The young women what? To be sober. To be what? Sober. Mm -hmm. To what? To love their husbands. Love their husbands. Now watch this now. And to do what? To love their children. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I was. Valentine's Day. Brother Ashton, what did you do on Valentine's Day? Stop by and pull my wife some flowers. Got some flowers. And would you, what, what, did you take her out to dinner? Yes, sir. Took her to dinner. Fine. Mm -hmm. Isn't that something? Mm -hmm. He didn't bail the children off on somebody else, or she didn't bail them off on somebody else. What did he do? Took the whole family out. Sister, you better hold on to him. <laughs> Took the whole family out. Yeah. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. That was a blessing. Yeah. To love their children mm -hmm. and what? To be discreet. To be what? Discreet. Discreet. Be very, very careful at what you do. Yeah. To be discreet than to be what? Chase. Chase men pure. Read. Keep us at home. Oh, you, you hear that? Keepers at home, meaning housekeeper. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. Keepers at home, meaning housekeeper. Mm -hmm. Read. Good. Good what? Obedient to their own husband. Oh. Mm. Husband tell you do something, and you got a thousand and one reasons why not. Mm. Can you do something? I got to do this, and I got to do that, and I got to do this, and I got. I didn't ask you about all what you got to do. I asked you to do this. Yeah. Obedient unto who? Their own husband. Their own husband. Watch this now. Here it is. That the what? That the word of God be not blessed. When you're 
disobey your husband, you're blaspheming the word of God. You got it? Amen. I ain't heard no amen from nobody but a brother. Is that right? Amen. Tell it. Amen. Amen. That the word of God be not blasphemed. And young men likewise exalt to be what? Sober minded. In all things showing thyself. See, we're living in the last days, church. And in these days, all of these adverse things are happening. And God wants us to be knowledgeable that we don't be seduced to do these things. Mm -hmm. Young men, be sober. In all things, show unto ourselves a what pattern, pattern of what? Of good, good works. works. Good works. Read. In doctrine. In doctrine what? Showing uncorruptness. Uncorruptness, gravity, sincerity. Mm -hmm. Read. Sound speech. Sound speech that what? Cannot be condemned. Cannot be condemned that he that is of the contrary part, because you got a plenty of them out there yeah. that are contrary to the doctrine. Mm -hmm. Yes. And they got everything to say, what you ought not to do. Yes. And you don't have to do this, and you don't have to do that. And all that was back in the old testament. We living in the new, and they ain't even abiding by the new. Yeah. Scribe and Pharisee spirit. Sad as see, sad the way that they see things. Yeah. Read. Sound Contrary speech, indeed. sound speech that cannot be condemned, that he what? He that is of the contrary part. May what? May be ashamed, having no evil thing to say of you. Amen. We're living in the last days. Turn back over to Timothy, third chapter, second Timothy. See if we can't finish up here. <clears throat> Fourth verse says, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof. God said, from such do what? Turn away. Turn away. The twelfth verse says what? Yea. Yea, and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus, you going to suffer. Persecution. Yes. Expect it. Mm -hmm. Why? Because there's an adversary. And in the last days, that seducing spirit and doctrine of devil. Mm -hmm. Watch this now. Read. But, but evil, evil men, men evil men, and what? And seducers. And seducers shall do what? Wax worse and worse. You know, they're not ashamed anymore. Women don't mind walking down the street showing all of what they got. They don't care anymore. Young men walking around showing their underwear with their pants hanging down on their butts. Tell it, tell it. I got out of them in the jailhouse. See, that thing started in the jailhouse. That's where it got started at. Mm -hmm. The reason being is that they would issue them clothes and no belts because people were hanging each other with them belts. So they would issue them clothes with no belts. And they're walking around drooping, dropping them. And I asked him a question. I said, brother, I said, won't you pull your pants up? I said, now, a woman is interested in what's in front of you. You know who's interested in your behind? The man. Mm -hmm. You ought to have seen them. Pull the pants up. <laughs> they were pulling them up then. What you're doing, you are exciting and promoting homosexuality by walking around with your pants hanging down on your butt. Pull them up. Yeah. But evil men and seducers shall do what? Wax worse and worse, deceiving and then being deceived. Read. But continue thou in the things. But Paul says, I want you to continue thou in the things which thou hast learned. I don't care what happens. If the world turns upside down, yes. mm -hmm. you hold on to what you've been taught. Yes. We've been taught holiness. Amen? Amen. We've been taught how to live a life above sin. Not in sin, but above sin. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured. I am assured of the fact that righteousness will lead you to eternal life. Yes. 
The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. I'm convinced of that. Amen. Continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast what? Learned them. Thank God for Ella Life for Solomon Mishaw. Mm -hmm. Thank God for Sister Mishaw instituting mm -hmm. the Purity Club, teaching the young folks how to be pure and peaches out of reach. Yes. Hmm. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. Amen. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to deny the fact that I am knowing what this is, holiness. Yes. Brother John said he had down that the government don't support holiness. Mm -hmm. Or what you think this country was founded upon? Mm -hmm. Holiness. Yes. The only thing that's going to last is what's holy. Mm -hmm. Amen. If you got a good husband, amen. That's what's going to keep it. Yes. Good husband. Mm -hmm. A good wife. Amen. Amen. One that is flaky, you can't depend on that. Oh, no. You came home on Thursday and you didn't see them pork chop, brother. You ask the question, what's going on around here? So what are you, you sick, honey? No, I ain't sick. I just didn't want to fix nothing. Mm. Woo, trade in, trade in, trade in, trade in. <laughs> Read, brother. And that from a child. And that from a child, what? Thou hast known. I thank God spirit. for being born in a way, reared in a way, and I am still in a way that leadeth to life everlasting. Thank God from a child I was taught holiness. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to get up and get a little hair on my chest and turn and go in another direction. No, no, no. Uh -uh. That from a child thou hast known the what? The holy, holy scriptures. scriptures which are able to make thee wise unto salvation. Mm -hmm. And what? Through faith. Through faith. Read. Which is in Christ Jesus. Isn't that something? 16 says all scripture is given. Read. By the inspiration, By the of, God inspiration God. of God. And it is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. That what? That the man of God. That the man, the woman, the boy of God may be what? Perfect. Perfect? Mm -hmm. I know this is an imperfect generation today. They don't think that you can live a perfect life. But if you open your mouth and tell a lie every time you open your mouth, you are a perfect liar. Mm -hmm. So if you can be perfect in telling a lie, you ought to be able to be perfect in telling the truth. Yes. Doing what you're supposed to do. Yes. The brother said, I know, I know what dad is because she cooks pork chops on Thursday. That's perfect. He, he can even look down. Today is Thursday. Sister, don't change up on him, please. I'm going to trick him this time. I'm going to fix pork chops on Saturday. And he's going to think he's way off and he's supposed to be off and he's supposed to be at work because you done messed up his day by the cooking pork chop on Saturday. Hey, Amen. Song said, just the same, yes. Jesus Christ, the same, what, yesterday, today, and for how long? Forever. No change. Yes. All scripture is given by inspiration of God, and it is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instructions in righteousness, that what? The man of God. The man of God, read. May be perfect. May be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto what? All good works. Thank you, Deacon. Mm -hmm. Thank you, brother. Everybody be the heard the truth. Oh, Shall know the truth, the truth shall what? Make you free. Free from what? Whatever's holding you. And there's a lot of things out there that can hinder you because there is an adversary. But we are living in the last days, church. And from what we have read today, we can see that this truly is the last days in which we're living. May God bless you. Heaven have a smile upon you. Turn the service back over to the diggings. Thank you. <laughs>